This WJEC specified practical investigates what is the optimal temperature of the enzyme amylase. We will go through some potential questions they could ask in an exam and the scientific terms you should be using when discussing this practical investigation. We won't go through the method, but the illustration should help remind you of how the practical is conducted. It is important that whatever investigation you have in front of you, that you can identify all the variables. In this investigation, we will be changing the temperature that the enzymes are exposed to. So, this is our independent variable. Our dependent variable will be measuring the color change of a starch test over time. The control variables are the volumes and concentrations of starch and amylase that we use. Also the time intervals when an observation is recording regarding color change should be kept the same. A common question in an exam can be to identify a control experiment that we can do to show it is the enzyme that is affecting the color change. In this case, we can boil the amylase which will denature them, showing that it is the enzymes that is causing the color change and breaking down the starch into glucose. Another thing to consider is what are some good practices we can do regarding collecting data. Where possible, increase the repeatability by doing the experiment three times for each temperature. Note, if the range between repeats is small, then this also suggests our data is repeatable and it demonstrates precision. We can then calculate a mean. If other groups or classes get similar data, then we can also say our data is reproducible. If you are not sure how to explain the biology behind these data, then please watch the previous video on enzymes. So, the results show that 40 degrees Celsius is the optimum temperature for this enzyme, as it took the least amount of time to break down all the starch into glucose and produce a negative starch test. You could be asked about the resolution of the thermometer, which in most cases has intervals of 1 degree Celsius. So the resolution is plus or minus 1 degree Celsius. It is also worth noting that we can't be sure if 40 degrees Celsius is the optimum, as it could be a temperature between 30 and 40, or 40 and 50 degrees Celsius. So some further work we could do would be to look at changing the temperature intervals down to every 5 degrees, and looking at a range of temperatures of 30 degrees Celsius, 35, 40, 45 and 50 degrees Celsius to try get closer to the true value of the optimum temperature. There is a glossary of scientific terms provided by WJEC and I provided a link in the description for you so you can easily access it. Technically, they can ask a question on any of these terms on any practical investigation and we haven't covered every term in this video. And we also need to review risk assessment questions too. I will do a video on this once we have completed all of the topics in biology. For the next lesson, we are moving to Unit 1.2 on respiration and the respiratory system in humans.